Namaste dear students and welcome in RSV online classes of science for class 6th. I am Anjit Tiwari. Your science teacher is with you to discuss chapter 5th. It is about separation of substances. So let's start the chapter with this aim that uh, with the help of this chapter we will learn about the different methods of separation. But before starting the chapter, first of all, we should know that what is separation. So, separation means removal of substances from a mixture of two or more substances. That means when removal of stones from rice, tea from tea leaves and chaff from the grains. This is known as separation. Now, another question arises in our mind that why do we need to separate substances? So, to obtain two different but useful components, to remove non-useful components and also to remove impurities or harmful components and also to group substances of different sizes. We need to separate substances. For this, we need to learn more about the different methods of separation. First of all, we will talk about threshing and winnowing. So, here on your screen, you are able to see a harvested crop in the form of stalk. It is the picture of a stalk in which wheat grains are enclosed. So, Threshing is a separating method which is used for separating seeds from the harvested stalks. Or in other words, we can say that separating grains or the seeds from the harvested stalk, we are using threshing method. It can be done by three ways. Manually, by animals and also by machines. When the quantity is small, threshing is done manually. Small bundles of the harvested stalk are threshed on a hard surface. This helps in separating the grains. It can be more clear with this picture in which people are beating these bundles of the grains or the stalks on a hard surface. So, this helps them to remove the seeds from the stalk. Another method is by, with the help of animals. For larger quantities, threshing is done in the traditional way by using animals. For this, stalks are spread around a pole. Several bullocks are tied to the pole and are made to walk over the harvested stalks. Trampling by hooves of the animals help in separating grains. Here I have shown you the picture in which bullocks or we can say the animals are separating the grains from the stalk. Now another method is by machines. Nowadays thrashing machines are used for the purpose. It can be powered by either a diesel engine or an electric motor. It helps in saving time and labor too. So, here you are able to see the threshing machine. Now, another separating method is winnowing. What is winnowing? Winnowing is used to separate heavier and lighter components of a mixture by wind or by blowing air. This process is used by farmers to separate lighter husk particles from heavier seeds of grain. So, this is an agricultural method which was developed by ancient cultures in which the grains are separated from the chaff. Here, the farmer is dropping the grains gently through a special kind of device which is at a certain height, it drops gently the crops and with the help of wind, the husk or the chaff 
get separated from the heavier grains. So in this way, with the help of wind, farmers separate chaff or the husk from the grains. Now another method is sieving method in which a sieve or a net of fine pores is used to separate different size of particles. So, sieving is used when two components of a mixture have different particle sizes. Sieving allows the fine particles to pass through the holes of the sieve while the bigger particles remain on the sieve. For example, sieving of wheat flour and sieving of sand at construction sites is done by the sieving method. Now, on the basis of this explanation, you can do the three questions. What is threshing? How it can be done? The second one is explain winnowing, where it is used. And the third one, what do you understand by sieving? So, let's move to another separating method that is hand picking. Hand picking, it is the simplest method of separation of substances. This method is used only when the unwanted material is in small quantity. Moreover, shape, size or color of the unwanted material is different from that of the useful material. For example, pebbles, broken grains and insects are separated from rice, wheat and pulses by hand picking. So, there are some limitations for the hand picking and these are the quantity of the mixture is small. That means hand picking is only uh, can only be done when the quantity of the mixture is small, when the unwanted substance is present in smaller quantities and the shape, size and color of the unwanted substance is different from that of the useful one. Now we will discuss the filtration method. Filtration method is a separation of solids from liquids either by using a filter paper or strainer. For example, separating tea from tea leaves, we use a strainer. Or we can say that chalning. Or separating mud from water, we use a filter paper. A filter paper is a special kind of paper that is having very fine pores. Now we will discuss Another method that is the sedimentation. Sedimentation can be done when we keep the sandy or the muddy water undisturbed for some time. Then we will be able to see that clear water can be obtained as a top layer and mud gets settled down at the bottom. So we can define sedimentation as it is a process in which solids are separated from the liquid. All the solid settle down at the bottom of a beaker and on top a clear layer of liquid is obtained. This is called sedimentation method. Now here on your screen you are able to see this is a picture of decantation method in which when the heavier particle or the sediment get settled down at the bottom, we transfer the clear water into another beaker without disturbing the sediment. And this process is called decantation. So here we are defining the decantation. The process of pouring out the clear upper liquid without disturbing the sediment is called decantation. Now, in this chapter, we have learned about hand picking, threshing, winnowing, sieving, sedimentation and decantation and also about filtration. Yes, three more separating methods are also given in this table that is evaporation, 
distillation and churning evaporation is a method in which we separate soluble solids simply by heating or boiling so that water evaporates and we will get the soluble solid material at the back an example of evaporation is when we obtain salt from sea water simply by heating the water distillation is another type of separating method in which evaporation and condensation take place combinedly so that we can collect the water vapors by the process of condensation and the last one is churning churning means shaking vigorously the liquid so that the lighter part will float on the heavier one for example to separate cream from milk we use churning method when we shake the liquid vigorously then the cream will arise or the cream will float at the top of the milk in this way we can separate cream from the milk so students you have learned the 10 different types of separating methods with this